Welcome to this tutorial on Introduction to R Script. In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with an R Script in R Studio. To understand this tutorial, you should know R and R Studio. Basic commands of R. If not, please locate the relevant tutorials on R on this website. This tutorial is recorded on Ubuntu Linux OS 16.04, R version 3.2.3, R Studio version 1.1.456. Install R version 3.2.0 or higher. An R script is a plain text file in which you save your R code. Script allows you to show your work to others and also reproduce and modify the results. Before you begin, please create a folder named My Project on Desktop. I have already created this folder on my desktop. I shall now save all my scripts and datasets in this folder. Later, I shall set this folder as my working directory. Let us switch to our studio. We will close these two tabs named Untitled 1 and R Packages Available. Click on the small cross symbol next to these tabs. We will now create a new R script. In the top left corner of R Studio, click on the green plus sign. Now from the drop down menu, select R script. A new R script appears in the source window. You can also create a new R script by pressing Ctrl Shift N together. Let us save this R script first. In the top left corner of the screen, click on the File option. Then click on Save to save the script. Select the directory where you want to save your R script. I am saving the script in the folder My Project on my desktop with the name my first script. Finally, click on the save button. Now you can see that the file is named as myfirstscript.r. R Studio automatically adds .r at the end of the file name. Now, let us write some lines of code in the script file myfirstscript.r. We will create a vector named test sample with 1, 2, 3, 4 as its elements. We have already learned how to create vectors earlier in this series. In the source window, type test sample space less than symbol. Now type hyphen space c 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 in parenthesis. Press enter. You may also use equal sign in place of less than symbol followed by hyphen. In the source window, to the left of the checkbox, source on save, click on the save icon. Or press Ctrl S together to save the file. We will now use the print function to display the values in test sample vector. In the source window, type P R I. R Studio automatically starts suggesting different functions. You can navigate this list of functions by using the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard. To select a particular function, just press enter. Finish typing print 
test sample in parenthesis and press enter. Now let us save the file and run it with these two lines only. Now we maximize the source window. In the top right corner of the source window, click on the source button. You can see the line by line execution of the script in the console. You can also run the script by pressing Ctrl Shift Enter together. For this, you need to first click in the script window. Now, let us declare a variable first where with value of 10 in the source window. Type first where with capital V space equal sign space 10 and press enter. Please note that our language is case sensitive. We will now use the print function to show the value of first where. In the source window type print. I am typing only P R I N. But the options appear and I select print from there. Now in parenthesis start typing first where. R Studio shows first where. Press enter to select it. Press enter to go to the next line. Now let us declare another variable second where with value of 15. In the source window type second where space equal sign space 15 and press enter. Now as shown before type print second where in parenthesis to show its value and press enter. We can add comments to our code by using hash symbol followed by our comment. Type hash symbol space creating an R script before the declaration of test sample vector. R interprets each line of code. Please make sure that your comment and the first line of code appear in separate lines. Now let us comment the line print second where. To do that first click on this line. Then from the top menu bar of R Studio, click on the code option. From the drop down menu click on the comment uncomment lines option. This option helps us to comment as well as uncomment a line. On doing so, we see a hash symbol with space. For now, we will uncomment print second where and save our script. Delete hash symbol at the beginning of this line. Or you can press Ctrl Z to uncomment this line. Now let's run the script file. In the top right corner of the source window, click on the source button. Now maximize the console. The line by line execution of the script is shown in the console window. The sample vector 1, 2, 3, 4 is printed. The values of two variables 10 and 15 are printed. We will clear the console by clicking on the broom icon. Now we minimize the console window. Now let's move ahead. Suppose we want to run only a block of code after print test sample from the file myfirstscript.r. First, select or highlight the block of code starting from first where equals 10 to the end. Then, in the top right corner of the source window, click on the run button with an arrow. 
Now you can see the output of only the highlighted part of the code in the console window. The output shows the values of two variables 10 and 15 only. You can also run a particular block by highlighting it and pressing Ctrl Enter together. We will clear the console window by clicking on the broom icon. Now let us create another R script. Use Ctrl Shift N to open a new script. Save this script in the same folder My Project with the name My Second Script. Now let's learn how to load my first script R into my second script R. Go to my first script R and run it by clicking on the source button. In the console window, scroll up to locate the source for the script. Copy it without the less than symbol. Now let's get back to our new script my second script dot r. Paste what we have just copied at the top of the script my second script dot r. We can press enter after comma for better visibility. Next write one more line to ensure that the execution is from this script only. In the source window, type print and then the following words in parenthesis. In double quotes, script space loaded. Press enter. Save the script. Let us clear the console again by clicking on the broom icon. Now run the script by pressing Control, Shift, Enter together. Maximize the console window. You can see the output in the console window and verify the results. Now we minimize the console window. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. We have learned how to create, save and run an R script. We now suggest an assignment. Create a script and save it on desktop as testscript.r. Load my first script.r in this script and run it. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSI team will answer them. Please visit this site. Do you have any general technical questions? Please visit the forum given in the link. The FOSI team coordinates coding of short examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. The script for this tutorial was contributed by Sheikh Samir, Fossey Fellow 2018. This is Sudhakar Kumar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.